Hello everyone. Welcome back to um another stream. Um <clears throat> We are playing Death and T uh Taxes. Wait, is that what Yes, death and, death and taxes. Um, it's a really fun game. I do actually <clears throat> really enjoy it. Um, and I'm sure you guys will too. There is um, in-game voting, which I found out a couple weeks ago. Um... So that's why I'm streaming the game because I think that would be fun because they have a Twitch uh, a streaming thing for Twitch. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, and then later we might play some uh, Minecraft depending on you know going on stuff so yeah um okay i think we're gonna start doing the game right now it's gonna fix the mic okay, let's jump right in as you can see i have played it but um we're gonna start a new game it's a really fun game Okay. So we're going through the comics. Fate. Keeper of world. Oh, of world order. Okay. He needs lemons, apparently. Ah, oh, give me a second. He needs some lemons. <sighs> <laughs> like the Beatles, that's so cool. That's a lot of lemons. Excuse me, sir. Oh, snap. So slow. Okay. Oh, he's creating us. It's been a while since I played the beginning. Um, okay. Let's do this one. Ooh, that's cool. I like the red tie. This one looks really cool. I'm gonna do this one, I think. Begin your... Okay. Let's get started. Finally. The new spawn has awoken. It is, um, like the voice, like they have voices, so... <laughs> what a... Uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number six zero. Sixty. We're spawn number sixty. I'm <laughs> just adjusting the thing here. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, pleasure to meet you, Faint. I don't much care for being this the sixty. <laughs> Could I be Faint? Another ironic one. Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Interesting. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision Four. The Sun County Wine Region. 
Also, I'd like to mention, I've had this game for a few months. Um, I've played it in total, I think, like four times. So this is like a nice refresher since I just continued on with the game. That's why it was like six days. I know what you are thinking, and yes. Your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Mm-hmm. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? I can't promise that. <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Sure. I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? Whatever you say. Delightful. I appreciate solid work ethics and a dedication to the craft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, <coughs> the fate of the world lies in your hands. Dang, that's a Humans lot of responsibility, isn't it? Towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. Look at the little kitty. We keep humans from falling off. Uh -huh. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. Uh -huh. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Uh -huh. I was born. Oh. Because someone has to. I was gonna do that. Come along. What? I was born to do I will this. Now show but... you your okay. Okay. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Snap. One okay. week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Okay. I will not make you regret this. I probably will make this. See, we got the book that does the voting. Tell you, you know, whether, uh... Oh, this is open on weekends. Nice. To have them um, vote for the people who die and stuff. Is it just oh it's all the same? Okay. That's a good background. Got our marker and a letter. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. So this is what we need to focus on, the quota for the day. So one human has to die today. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on your first day, Fate. So I like keeping this open to kind of see the quote, quota. So these are the people. 39 and farmer is a special kind of farmer for the farm yeast and bacteria. Ew. Their goal is to make a little micro. <sighs> Microorganisms produce fats, proteins, and sugars to create lab produced milk, which would make the bovine dairy industry absolute. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of words that I don't know. That's just because I suck at reading, okay? Focuses on 47. Astrophysicist. Focuses on researching red dwarves and possibility of finding habitable habitable planets in their systems. As a lifelong science fiction fan, they were sad about but accepting of their children dressing up as 
bow welding fair folk from a fanta fantastical novel. Okay, this one, I think I'm gonna do him die because he's going to ruin the milk industries. Even though it technically would be beneficial for, um, you know, the environment, I guess, but, you know. We have Fate's office there. We have the bar, we have the shop, but we have no money, so we're gonna go back up. And it's a clicking game, which I actually really enjoy. So, kitty. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? It was okay, I guess. Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes through that phase. <laughs> oh. Remember lives are on the line yes i see exactly one person perished today as tasked did mm -hmm. you figure out the best choice uh sure to be honest i gave a simple one to begin with there was no best choice sometimes none of the options are good not for everyone. Well, sure, the two options I got were pretty. You Such know. is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron clad law of cosmos. Question? Um, uh, no. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. Okay. And keep up the good work. Thank you. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Okay. So we can check. So like the that's my room. So we'll check the shop and see what they have. But uh. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer, the Mortimer. Wow. The one you may have heard of. The famous. Nay, infamous quartermaster. Uh, we'll be nice. I, tis me, terror of the waves. I may have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Uh, sure. Okay. Mayhaps the wares of me Emporium will impress ye more. Browse at your will. He talks a lot in this game. So we got the kitty. Little. Oh, it's a gerbil. I want that. The mirror. Which you get to like customize your character. And you got a clothing, which is the plague doctor. Which you can wear when you get this. But as you can see, we have zero. So. Let's we'll start off the next day. Yes. Go to our office. This is our desk right there. Let's see. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules today of the day. Follow them. Okay. One human with an engineering or industrial industrial background has to die. Window shopping for planets. Could this planet be your future home? Daring industry chief suspected of ordering a hit job on a local alternative milk producer. Tracking linked to earthquakes. Oh. Oh, this is okay. I didn't know that they had these things here. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Architect is all about living in the present, their past long forgotten. 
Several years ago, they moved to live near the glaciers of Northern Point. Has always loved mounted, mountaineering, mountaineering, photograph, photography, sculpting, and modern dance. That is okay. Lost their parents at age three and was raised by an odd foster family at an isolated vi village. These days, they are on a mission to find legendary Skull of Death, an artifact that supposed, supposedly gives one, a, one the power to live forever. I mean, that's pretty doubtful if you have anything to say about it. Unemployed. Oil fracker. Is in the fracking industry for the money. Interesting. <coughs> and no cries from environmentalists will make them rethink. They are determined to rise on their career ladder and become the boss of the fracking firm someday. Okay, um, well, this guy, he could live. Hmm, between these two. <clears throat> I th think... Architect... Okay, so I think you live and you die. Right? Yeah. I th think that's good. We're about to find out, that's for sure. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Nah. You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. No matter. It will pick up. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes. Everything looks to be in oh, order. Oh, perfect. I never messed up before, so I'm kind of curious on what would happen. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Can I get a vacation? <laughs> Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Thank you. Bye, kitty. Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> okay. No money still, so let's just Yeah, let's go to bed. It's our little desk. Okay, we've got two humans have to die. Okay. Damages from fracking deemed to be too excessive and expensive. Government vows to shift toward developing better renewable energy sources. Promising young architect wins grand prize from monumental, monumental sustainable sauna. Okay, so two people have to die. Is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well arranged passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columbia is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Interesting. So you could live. Is committed to writing the perfect sermon and are thus oblivious to the turn turmoil at home. Their spouse is fighting a substance abuse problem and their children are planning debauched parties. Luckily, uh, Jess 
just found a new Jesse. Just found a new maid with unusual but effective methods for keeping things under control. Yikes! That's not the hunt that this this guy is just no very sus. It's hunted by the su. It was haunted by the suicidal people. They've had to run over. Even though there's nothing they could have done. They've started writing a series of romance novels. Novels? How do you spell novels? About, uh... Oh my gosh. Something food delivery person and a religious library worker. Why can't you just say librarian? In the climactic moment, one of them saves the other from jumping in front of a subway train. Um, I don't know. We'll put you here. Got tangled in the whole organized crime web at an early age through debts their brother had incurred. To settle the score, Lucas was forced into working as a driver, although as of late they seem to have been getting their hands dirtier. Yikes. A politician. Has been in politics for over 40 years, wow. And in that time, they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Okay. Well, they're rumors, so you can live. Um. Well, you could die. That's one. It's between these two. And I think I want to go with. This person is clearly not a nice guy. And it did say that two people had to die, right? Yeah. Well, they didn't specify anything besides the two people, so. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Um, fine. Good. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. That's for sure. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. <laughs> nice. Aww. It's a good kitty. Oh. Thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Aww. Okay, Grim. About your payment. Which I may have forgotten about earlier. <gasps> Am I getting back pay? Of course. We take our worker satisfaction levels very seriously. Mm. Hmm. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Okay. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Yikes, we really gotta pay attention, guys. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. That really 
has not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, good sir. 900? Dang, okay. Let's go see what we can get at the shop. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandise. Oh, I really wanted the mirror. Um, well, we can't get any cosmetics or like clothing, so Shiver look at tender. that. Tis a tale most sordid. I don't know I what I dare it... not even recall the details, but since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was scouting some rickety office mean? building downtown, and I saw this so much. Hour. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> The device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we could, um, check it out after. Yes. New day. Oh my gosh, so much coins. Why do I have so much? I don't know. Hmm. Have you looked outside today? It rains. Okay. Three humans have to die. Three humans. Okay, let's put my book in here for now. And then when it comes to it, we'll use it. All survived in a plane crash due to skillful efforts of a pilot. Who needs rent caps? Ask longtime politician Leo. The market will take care of things on its own. This short-sighted act of the estate market puts everyone in a dangerous spot. Yikes, we might have messed up. Oh well. Okay. Can read the thoughts and feelings of their boss at any given moment because they successfully learned all the minisical facial twitches. Although they often tell everyone of their career ambitions at length. In truth, they're just happy to help. Grim, I'm watching you should make work okay. If fate says to them that they have to live, they have to live. When younger postponed reading lectures thinking, oh, I'll get around to it once I'm old. When the time finally came, they started going through novels, novelists, short story collections, etc. One after the other. Now they regret the early decision as they are afraid they'll die before they get to read all these books. Should have done it earlier. Well, you could live, so that's fine. Oh, that means these three people have to die. There's no choice. Okay, well. Sorry. Doesn't matter what you guys say. <clears throat> guys gotta, you know, die. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Okay. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Thanks. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. Thank you. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a 
middle management position. Interesting. Imagine the possibilities. Yes, I can imagine. Fetch pets. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Thanks. Three hundred. Let's see what you got today. What ho! How oh, can they have the mirror. Adventurous self assist you today. I want this. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood washed ashore from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covers it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. Okay. Um. Also gonna get this one. Lord blimey, how did this wee monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Found the tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. A lifeless, adorable thing. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when ye stroke it. Okay. See, now we can do this and change our. Ooh. Let's be. Let's have this. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Aww. So cute. Disaster strikes as the leader of our southern neighbors killed by an unidentified assassin during an official visit. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. Intelligence agencies uncovering connections between the Formosan ultra rich and the presidential assassination. Fashion firm reports recording record earnings promise to spread wealth around, but just a tiny bit. CEO of the What What social media platform. Planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Scientists discover a new strain of super tuberculosis. I, 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 I don't, I honestly don't know. Okay. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. Okay. Considered masonry, masonry of formidable art, a mixture of intricate design, intricate design and impressive monumentality. They are convinced that Cosmopolis City needs. To construct a proper city wall again. Uh. Specializes in children's psychology. They want to be a mother and a kindergarten teacher. Their main hobbies are watching and criticizing films and swimming. So you're a scientist. Marine biologist, a professor at the Cosmopolis Central University, has dedicated their life to studying the well-being of aqu aqu aquarium fish. Since it's already known that goldfish have a decent memory, they advocate banning small fish bowls. That's weird. Another scientist, microbiologist, 
is a grad student at a microbiology lab <coughs> where their research is focused on studying turb turber oh, tu tuberculosis they edit the tuberculosis genomo gen you see what I mean? They put such large words in here, and words I don't know, to see how the changes affect the bacteria. Dreams of working in a facility that has proper ventilation, unlike the current lab. Archaeologist. Researcher or greedy tomb raider. Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. The past five years they've been digging up artifacts around the Ferdin region. Is a mercenary, always ready to work for a highest bidder. They're currently stationed at Ferdin with the government contract providing security services. They act tough and gung-ho to cover up the fact that they haven't been trained to properly act in a combat zone. So these two, these three people can live. Let's do that. So... Archaeologists are scientists, right? So I'm gonna kill this guy because he's a uh, tomb ra raider. And that's not nice. Um, and then we'll do. Uh, live, die. Yeah, that's how we'll do it. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Okay. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim. Five days you have been with us. Really? How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Um. Meh. Is it, though? I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, everyday job would feel like. Almost. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? I don't ah, know. The question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. Interesting. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans... Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Um... But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if it... True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. Hmm. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We Let's know go. what we are doing. Go. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. 
Are there many offices or departments? Countless. Myriad. I don't know what that means. Close enough. Hmm. Anything else? What about the an what about animals? Do they get a department? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Hmm. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. That's funny. Anything else? What about the unliving things? Building stuff. What's the basis of the profiles? Is there a point system? Was they? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. So no gender information. Minimal. Hmm. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. True. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Uh, what about the unliving things? Buildings? Stuff? Technically, uh, kind of. I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. True. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Okay. Anything else? What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Don't they all influence the world in any ways? The humans can't actually affect anything. You don't sound sure about that. <laughs> mm, I am. Quite so. Uh, Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Hmm. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk. A result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Interesting. Anything else? I want to go back to work. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. check out the shop <clears throat> have ye seen such deals before tis ye who plunders me got 800 700 for a calendar cheese and crackers that's an expensive calendar knock knock Ugh. No, no hearing. It's far deeper than that. Um, who are you? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex nihilo. We are nothing, a despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. We are death. How does it feel? Um. What does what feel? I don't understand. Oh, uh, feels fine. We don't have time for this, but whatever it is. How about you just leave me alone? Hmm. Not a cloud <coughs> in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? He's seeing you, Reaver. It's a. Grim world out there. Okay, I just wanted to change my hat to. You know what? Let's have no hat. Sleepy time. Oh, I got a thing. 
Curious Grim asked all the questions in Frist Lore Hub. Oh, nice. Got more coins. I don't know what these do. Uh, whoa. A total of six humans have to die, okay. At least two humans aged 60 or older. Any human with economy related profession have to die. Well. Noted archaeologists caught attempting to smuggle ancient artifacts out of the Faridin. Out of Faridin. Shot by a militia group. Local doctoral student dies after drinking lab disinfectant on a dare. The results are in. Fish can have a little salami. Okay. Mercenary squad blows up a museum full of historical documents and artifacts. Anti-war senator demands why are there unqualified merce running around in cough Conflict zones, committing war crimes. Mayor agrees to build a small 50 meter city wall at the border as a sculpture to ages past. The wall would protect against barbarian raids and those still exist. Hey, well. Yikes! 60. 38. I'm not even going to. Favorite plant. Retire. Okay. Cosmolot. That's oh, from cosmetology, right? Gazing through powerful to- oh. No, it's not. It stars all across the universe. Bit by bit, the section crafted in binary. Okay. Bank teller. So you get to live. You're not a banker. Venture capitalist. Technology, especially during the wave of startups. They seem to have a sense in picking out firms with high growth potential. Lately, they looked into the gaming industry, trying to find anything that catches their eye. Is an avid digital sports enthusi enthusiast who works at the office of the Parallax Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist. Passionate about getting a very best out of the performance. That's really cool. Uh, teaches biology at an evening school for adults. It's much less frustrating than teaching over energized teenagers at a regular high school. It can actually be pretty fun because they can go out drinking with their students. Everyone's an adult there after all. So these two, no, these ones go here, um, has lived through three bank robberies, sick and tired of always happening. They decided to join the robbers on the fourth attempt. They were last seen trying, okay, well your, was widely celebrated, it Economist. Economist, yeah. Is called a pre attempt expert in the market manipulation. For the past this decade, they've appeared on many television programmings, advising people when and where to invest their funds. Well, we found our people that will live. And then these people. will die. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Hopefully... Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. Hmm. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? There was a lot to do, but I worked it all out. <laughs> good, good. We have to do what is necessary, even if we do not fully understand why. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge after all. Perhaps the econ economic crash, corruption, bad management beats me a day like any other day. Don't really care. Death is death. I know it was bad. That's what matters. <laughs> Indeed. All things must die. Eventually. eventually. <laughs> all things must die. Hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Interesting. 300. Let's see what we can get. Oh, they have this opened. Meet your fate. Grim day. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, Gus. The air is eerily cold as if a frozen in as a frozen place. Too scared to move an inch. Yeah, what what do you want? Uh sorry to bother you came to meet new people. As if I didn't have enough on my plate. Now I have to deal with a baby lady. Wow. Oh. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? What do you do here? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. What do you mean? Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock gut. It's after something. Hmm. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? <laughs> okay, I get it. This rent. Okay. Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage straight to the floor. Oh, I didn't really think about it. Yeah, you reapers hardly ever do. Always self-absorbed. Oh! Or could be at least a little more considerate. I appreciate you. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? What can you tell me about the barkeep? Who were you before? What's that supposed to mean? You know, what human were you? Are you the ghost of a profile I marked to death? I was just wondering about your past. Because you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human or beast or what? I mean, you're kind of human-like, so you're not human? Oh, you could be the ghost of an awesome monster beast. Of course not! No! No, ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. Hmm. I am the ghost of a ghost. How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? Uh... Yeah, pretty much. How does that work? How do you think? I ghosted around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. Mm. I know what you're thinking now, and yeah, there is a ghost department. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Not too busy over at Geist Hall, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Come to the territory. Mm. Eh, something else you wanted? Um, how do you clean things Simple. anyway? I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. That seems like a lot of work. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. 
one droplet at a time. That isn't that kind of interesting. I could use a bit of modernization, yeah. I mean, in that logic, they could just possess moths and stuff, right? As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. You, you, you think it literally says Gus? I've got a name. Could be they're kind of busy. I'll make a name for myself. They'll listen to me. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? What can you tell me about the barkeep? Sorry, they're hella cool. Why, thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. Hi, nice talking to yeah, you. Yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Okay, well. Now we get to talk to the barkeep. Whoa. Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus' den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Are you just dapper like the River Acheron? <laughs> yeah, that screams vintage. Mm. So, are you liking existence thus far? Um, lots of tedious paperwork so far. Oh, don't I know it? Administrative bureaucracy just can't be escaped. Mm -hmm. I'll find you eventually. eventually. <laughs> but hey, that's why you figure out the small cracks in the system you can manipulate. True. Okay, newbie. Before we continue. I got this little, uh, game I play with every fresh-faced patron. It's real simple. Okay. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. I love quizzes. Right, <laughs> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you'd react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Okay. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. After years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. Dang. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? I like, I like being a mathematician working on equations. An executioner, the harvester of human sorrow. Working is dumb and lame and pointless. I like this one. Time for question number two. Okay. On a stroll around the local forest, you happen upon an unfamiliar animal. Their leg is trapped in a devious trap and is bleeding profusely. Oh no. The beast will likely not survive for long. How will you react? Berate the animal for being dumb and getting trapped. That's mean. Don't interfere in the natural order of things. Straw your Sith and swiftly slay the beast. Well, that would be putting it out on its misery, right? We'll do that. Next up, question three. Almost there. Just to put it out of its misery, you know? Because then I'll feel bad. You see a turtle laying on its back. Aww. Very baking in the scorching sun. <gasps> it beats its legs, trying to flip over, but it can't. Not without your help. Are not helping. Why aren't you helping? I like my turtle. Well done. Oh my gosh. What? I have to do everything around here? I help those who help themselves. I like this answer. That was uh, funny. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? Bone situation. Um this. You've got it. Let me just calculate the results and take that moment. <laughs> huh. Combative, antagonistic, oh. despotic tendencies. 
heck? I've got the perfect brew for you. Dang. Let's go for four centiliter cinnamon whiskey, two deciliters apple juice, and one whole lime properly squeezed. Next up, a splash of hot sauce and a splash of lime soda with a side hot sauce. Sour, cinnamon caramel crystals. The quiz tells no lie. I think I'll call it Armageddon Punch. Armageddon Punch. That sounds good. Oh, that's a cute drink. First one's on the house. Oh. The drinks. The drink. Burns. The fierce and energetic taste of a thousand suns exploding, wiping out countless civiliza wiping out countless civilizations with their decaying breath. Space time wraps it on itself, brutally folding dimensions down into singularity that is that ignites under the unfathomable pressure. It's almost a death changing experience. Reasonably Heck yummy. An understatement of the century. Now what else can I get you? Your tip jar is pretty neat. Oh, thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. Hmm. It's a bit of a hassle though. Keeps multiplying all the time. Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. That is cute. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. I like a drink. What's your take on the janitor? You've been chatting to our spooky one, eh? <laughs> eh don't mind the grump, it's a ghost thing. Mm. Gus especially has a pretty dang irascible nature, but there's a layer of performance to him. In truth, they've been hella helpful around the den throughout the ages, and I'm grateful for that. Besides, the office itself couldn't operate without Gus and company. Hmm. What else you got in mind? Sorry, just fixing my mic. Who else works in the office? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? You likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. We've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weirless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Uh -huh. Cadaver resources. They're just plain odd. But someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management. Nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management. But they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Um, where are we going? Au revoir, little reaper. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's check out Good the Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. And an eraser is used to remove previous mistakes, meaning it erases whichever mark when used only. Yikes. No, I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, let's end the day. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Can we put our coins in there? Oh my gosh, we can. Finally, a place to put our coins. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Let's see what we got here. Local man commits suicide after losing family savings in market crash. Yikes. Respected financer found dead after devastating market crash. Suicide suspected. Dang. 
Cooked bankers master bank officials under investigation for years long fraud. The return of bees bring a bountiful apple harvest. Investors find themselves ensnared, ensnared in a sunk cost fallacy. fallacy. Keeps pumping funds into experimental art game that doesn't seem to get finished. Bank robber arrested over neighborhood, neighborhood, neighboring altern dies as ship bringing them home sinks in a storm. Parents beware, death metal artists may be trying to summon demons. Damn, diamonds, diamonds. Okay. Uh, is a revolutionary, a radical, an advent grade guard, 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 hero of the people, the ultimate underdog, vanguard of change, beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds, which, considering the forklift, is not very fast. Activist believes that anyone not carrying a gun everywhere is practically naked and openly begging to get assaulted. Any politician daring to implement implement a stricter gun policy starts getting death threats from her, from them, which has greatly reduced the numbers of regulations okay well you're definitely dead no questions about it how much people need to die i think it said oh yeah only two <clears throat> um i lurk in the night the vigilante searching for bloodsuckers has said to the authorities authorities many times they claim to be a vampire hunter safeguarding humanity against these terrors of the night but the vampires truly out uh, but are there but are vampires truly out there the answer might surprise you it's no okay well you could live i guess not doing any harm really although they there is con they Sorry, I hit my. Brady is concerned with mar making their boss as happy as possible. They're growing increasingly worried about the nature of their job. Their boss keeps asking them to do every dodgier thing, which, while raising profits, do so at the expense of other living beings. Yikes. Okay. That's a maybe. Unemployed. Used to be a minor. Until their lungs got completely ruined by... Pneumoniconosis? That's a big word. Also known as black lung. Surprised that it still happens in this day and age? That's corporate cost cutting for you now survives off their settlement money and medical pension. Believes in their power to give only the best advice to potential presidential candidates of the ne neutral party to boost the success of their campaign. Their self-confidence might be misplaced as the reputations reputations of everyone they advised thus far have crashed and burned. Yikes. Okay, well you two are dead. These people can live. I wonder, can you guys like 
Wow, you guys can hear me tight. I don't know. Um, my. A lot of the times. You don't normally hear me typing. I don't know. I think this is a bit better. Yeah, this works better. I'm literally like... Yeah, you guys can't hear the keyboard. I don't know why it was, um... You guys were able to pick up the keyboard, because before it wasn't. Okay, well. That was interesting. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Is it? Your I performance haven't noticed. Reviews draws near. How do you think you have been doing? I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I made it this far. I hate everything about the job. Probably I come in, I send them out. Clockwork. Interesting. Hmm. It's true. It is clockwork. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. Okay, let's see how we do. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. That's I guess it is good. time to get started. Wait, I wanted to ask about today. Yes? What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Today? Um, oh. Everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. That's true. So keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Okay. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. Yes. I am sincerely surprised and pleased by your surprised. Oh, that is not nice. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Yes. Even more money. We do what we can to provide for our spawns. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Okay. Right. That seems a bit assess excessive. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Piece of cake. Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to a downfall. Nah. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Nice. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Until tomorrow. I want to see if we can get that calendar. I feel like that'd be very useful. Need ye cures for ailments, so I trigger to ward off a curse? Um, well, I want... Cactus. 800, though. Um, 
let's get this. Dear mate has a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? The wild night, certainly. There we was, celebrating the passing of mi amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mass stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. Okay. Um. I do want this plant, but. No, not today. Parkeep, when did you get this plant? Hey now, Sonny, we don't belong to nobody. Holy hell, a talking plant. Holy cartilage, a blathering bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, are you from the plant department? Who told you about the plant department? Am I not supposed to know about the plant department? I've heard rumors you're a plant, so I assumed... Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anywhere. No such thing, but I hoped. Really? I don't believe you. Come on, you can tell me. Not gonna <laughs> lose any sleep over that, Sonny. No such thing, but I hoped. Really? We deny everything. No such thing, but I hope. Who dares to hope in this day and age? Come on, you can tell me. Come on, tell me. Don't be such a killjoy. Really fine. I didn't want to know anyway. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. And you never, never will. will. All right, we're just kidding. It's not really that big of a deal anyway. Is it though? Sonny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big, but it's very busy. What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. That's true. We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Okay. That's why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Interesting. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? I, I don't know. It was uh, some other spot. Doesn't the mystery actress make you more compelling to people? Can't help it though. <laughs> There's theater in my xylem. Hmm. Anything else? Seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry. What's your name? Me? I'm Herbert. Herbert, the talking plant. You know, sort of like a herb. Herbert. A herb. <laughs> oh my gosh, that laugh. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Who were you before you became a plant reaper? Yeah, I get it. That's just a joke. I've always been Herbert. And the green fella holding me up. Hmm. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Is there really nothing unusual about the plant department, right? Okay. We see you got a keen mind. So we'll let you in on a secret. But you didn't hear this from us. Gotta promise you won't spill a bean. Promise. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide. Right into your room, if need be. Okay. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap. Yeah, yeah, just tell me the secret. We're secretly seeding a cabal of plant worshippers who will summon the antediluvian monster god by us for us. Are you just messing with me? No. Obviously, they're super serious. 
great. Just great. I know. <laughs> Who's Tim? Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Which I assume are these flowers. And the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Interesting. Anything else? There's a bee department? Of course. Makes perfect sense, don't it? No, it does not. Uh, don't ask about the bee department. Anything else? No. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Okay, well... Oh, we can't talk to Gus? Hmm. Hey, hey, pleased to see you again. Ain't much happening here today. It's a slow Sunday. Anything I can get you? I'd like a drink. Oh, what's your poison? Dang, these are expensive. Um... What else you got in mind? What's the deal with the plant? Favorite pot chock full of plant department goodness? They usually drop it on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. Person mm -hmm. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. What else is there to say? Okay. Au revoir, little reaper. <laughs> well, that's a thing. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. You crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Uh, no, it's already falling apart. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. Okay. Oh, this is what we bought, yes. That one's really cool. Let's just keep this one on for now, I think. Yes. Oh. Presented to Grimmie. For your contributions to killing of many humans. Thanks. Aww. They have a little piglet. That is so cute. Whistleblower uncovers the shady deals of a prominent businessman. Activist accidentally shoots self. Neut neutral president rises to power after replacing entire adversity team. Former advers adv advisors reported missing. Vampire hunting vig vigilante stabs midnight jogger in the chest with a stake. Whoopsie. Wolf to present their latest at the Talbot Film Festival about humanity's desire to be wild and immortal. Okay. okay. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans aged between 35 and 60 if possible. If possible. 35. So I can't do you. Age 60, so you can die. Part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. Oh, okay. You can't die. Okay, let's see what the other age is. Okay, so these people can't... Okay, so we're gonna have to pick two of these people. I uh, was born somewhere in the woods and grew up in the wilderness. On her 18th birthday, their parents took them to Cosmopolis, Cosmopolis City, where they ended up spending three hours in a photo shop. 
This inspired them to make films, and now they travel the world presenting their work in, at festivals and to audiences everywhere. Okay, so you could live. Uh, for years, Langston has accumulated wealth from various plots of real estate handed down to them from their family. Who managed to acquire said holdings decides ago, decades ago through a number of shady deals Ooh. during the so-called we don't really talk about it days of business. Yikes. Okay, you're a maybe. Do we go. Nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma unto Mercury. A true silver tongue, this smooth talker could convince anyone to do almost anything. As such, they found their calling in being a motivational speaker. Recently, they've included proselytizing into their ovary okay, I don't I, I, I don't know uh, sheep farmer people make a lot of juvenile jokes when it comes to sheep farming which really gets under Tahmo's skin sheep farming is an important provider of meat milk and fiber even parchment really cares for their folks flocks so, their sheep are very healthy. Well, you could live. So, I guess these two people have to die. Die, 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 live, and live. That's just the way it is. The way the business runs. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Oh, uh, <clears throat> no. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. However, an emergency has occurred which requires oh. my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. What kind of an emergency? <clears throat> okay. Listen up and keep this to yourself. Okay. Some philosophers and researchers are attempting to set up a utopian community for the betterment of humanity. Interesting. I must investigate their strategies for any flaws. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> while I am gone, another will be in charge. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more okay. freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Okay. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Well, I will report to you. I'm fine with that, but since as usual, I don't know. Will it be... It will it really be the same. Why? You are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington. Of Aww. Course. Of course. <laughs> Who else would it be? I, I know what you're thinking. I do provide ancient powerful widgets. Oh. Okay, I want this eye. Ever been to the land of dunes, ye scallywag? There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Mm -hmm. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the bowels of the world eater rang in my ears. But I persisted. Dug until me fingers cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were secured. Ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal as it does. Okay. Let's um let's check it out. Ooh. I like I like the I like the 
collect the gold. Yeah, let's do this. This one looks nice. <clears throat> okay, I will be right back, guys. I am back. A uh, new day. It's a new day. Open. Three hu- Plan. Have to die. Interesting. We got plants. Landlord found dead from falling down an elevator shaft in their own poorly maintained building. Noted motivational speaker commits suicide in jail because of arrest. To be revealed soon. Untamed garners furious applause at Pelbot. Okay. Plants. Age 118. City air cleaner. It's a really large and old oak tree in the Cosmopolis, Cosmopolis City Dog Park. It is a home to a family of squirrels while also providing a safe place for a local cat that lives that likes to watch dogs and their owners walk by. Okay, so you obviously could live. Model is one of the mo one of the beautiful small rose bushes on display window at the flower shop. It is a uh, in dire need of repotting or just getting planted into the ground at least for a little while. Two. Cannabis is an in industrial hemp plant used for making clothes from its fiber. It is young, yet growing rapidly due to extreme amount of fresh organic fertilizer being provided by its farmers. Also known as a white snake root or Rich weed is a plant that grows on a cow pasture. It is half meter tall and has small white flowers. It is almost ready to release its small seeds with fluffy white tails in the wind. Photosynthesis. Uh, also known as a meadow foxtail is I swear, if I have to make another file about a blade of grass, I will quit. Okay, let's kill you then. And... Well, you get to live. Um... You get to live... How many plants? Three. Okay, well, I guess you guys die. I thought it was only- oh, sorry. I thought it was only, um, two plants that had to die, but it's fine. I'm coming, kitty. Aww. I 
cat sits behind the table, very serious and official-like, ignoring your presence. Coughs politely. The cat's turn turns her head around, her head towards you, staring with her one eye open. <coughs> Meow. She mutters, then places her paw upon some documents, littering the table. The cat repeats the sequence of con Tented meows. She then curls back into a ball and closes her eyes. Hey, cat, I brought. I could give her the. Okay. Lady Poddington's eyes grew wide and dark as you place her the gerbil on the table. She pats the chew toy with her paw. The rubber toy squeaks early. Cool, cool. Nothing ominous here. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess. The cat er. Eagerly stares at the toy gerbil, fully ignoring your presence. The toy gives out a sad noise as you make your way out the door. Aw, don't be sad, kitty. <laughs> don't be sad, kitty cat. Let's see what they have today. Friend, you're oh. risen like the sun. Regular. And warms the room. This, a coin, the thing which usually makes up the large portion of a buried treasure. Hmm. What are you? The plague. Okay, let's see this. Huh. Didn't know I still had this beaked eyesore. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots hmm. where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Just look at it. A weird long curve of a nose and those stupid goggles. Ridiculous. I actually like the goggles. They it. look really cool. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Lest these smelled nice. For they soiled their trousers from fear. Then the mask came in real handy. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I hope we get the calendar soon. All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Okay. Uh, who is? Fate! Everyone in the office. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you drift by? You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. I am a nobody. What if I make a mistake? You're just trying to rattle me. Only got yourself to blame, mate. It's never us. Something's not right. You can feel it in your bones. Mm. Be seeing you. I don't like this cloud. This cloud is very mean. Anyways, what did I grab? Ooh, yeah, that reaper mask looks awesome. That one's cool. I like this one. We'll do this one. Yes. Oh. Two humans have to die. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Organic Farming Association warns against over fertilizing plants with local horse manure. A child pro prodigy has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical professional in a Academia and in practice is addicted to adrenaline. Adrenaline and oh, to the to adrenaline, adrenaline, and is well known for taking great personal risks. Yikes, that's not good. What's she here now? Branch manager, 
at Master Bank currently working on analyzing the positives and negatives of financing uh, a dream of having a building named after them okay gone are the days of deciding into of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns drill in hand and but Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless it was a time of danger, but also exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends all their time in an old folks home to spite it. Spite it. Ah. When does a kid went through a terrifying earthquake of abstinence by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying be a seismologist these days that the research so these are all well you can definitely die yeah. um well you're retired so you can just do that um you can die you sound selfish oh this is fine drop a single word pair of there was a thing. I wanted to see what the thing was. The achievement. Time to get evaluated. Oh! As you enter, the cat is whacking the chew toy aggressively with her paws. The toy cries in the most despondent voice possible. I'm here for my daily back thing. You sure enjoy bashing that toy. The cat emits and lets fall another hammer blow onto the toy. The little gerbil responds in pain. The toy doesn't seem to be enjoying you bashing it though. With a majestic grace, the cat lowers her head onto a pile of documents. The cat notes while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. Uh, I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. The cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself, seeming more or less pleased. A swift nod towards the door with her head makes it clear you should be. Interesting. 400, nice. Do the shop. Please let there be a ah, calendar. No. Perhaps he required a delightful gift for a significant friend. Look at this. Let's get this cat ears. Do you know why I was the scourge of the seas? Because ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wearing them gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. <laughs> Plotting with the fishes now, they are. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What is? I'm suspicious. I'm a suspicious reaper at heart, you know that. What is? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean, pristine. What a wreck. Listen to us, reaper, not the others. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. Weird, but okay. Oh, we could be a kitty cat. But I don't think I like it. I like this. Is 
Dear God, a total of six humans have to die. At least humans age of 60 or older have to die. Spare any students if possible. Many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Science community calls to increase funding of the mountain head. Lives will, lives will be saved. I wasn't done reading. A string of fires blazed through the suburbs of Sun County. Cosmopolis citizens die, citizen dies in fatal crash after tragic jetpack malfunction. Research for experimental surgical cure for epilepsy halted due to grant withdrawal. The MM project struggling to find financing. Ecological research restoration of the mountain delayed by several weeks. Black holes. Set to end of life. What's this? Has been a dedicated worker at the OK. Yes, you listen up. Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk going over all the profiles like a mindless drunk. It's time to break the rules. I want you to do all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Hmm. Do we do this? Do we do this? It's not from by doesn't say from fate. So we can either be a rebel and break the rules and kill everyone. Or not. Let's kill everyone and see what happens. I'm curious. Word premier value at least two levels in one. We're killing everyone. Let's see what happens. Doom everyone on a single day. I got two teammates just now. Grim is there. Yes. Uh oh. Grim, I am most disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion a second time. Must I reiterate myself? You cannot mark every person to death. If too many perish, the results will be disastrous. It will undo the whole plan. Oh, okay, but humans deserve to die. I don't know what I'm doing. Grim, hello? Cassie, why is there always a connection error at the most inopportune moment? Uh oh. I hope my words reach you even if the reverse is not the case. Understand that this is not a path you wish to take. I will note this down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Second? But this is the first time. Good night, Grim. Gather your wits before you act. Interesting. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living. I mean, did it dust. once. Why is it my second a warning? A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths.
gaze upon what you have brought. Instrument of pain. I don't, don't think, think I'm going to be doing that again. This is remarkably dehumanizing. An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy. Picking and choosing lives. It's efficient. I'll give it. I'll give it that. This place is awful. I love structure. I love order. Don't care as long as it gets the job done. These are real people, Reaper. Not pieces of paper with random data printed on them. No one is in control. I wonder who the put the red paper. Devours life with no supervision. Because this cloud thing is against us killing, so it couldn't be them. And you think I should do something? Now you're just being overly dramatic. Mmm, tasty carnage. <laughs> Throw not the flesh of the common people into the gears of agony. Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. I'm seeing you. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to do the red paper things again. I did not like that. Aye, this port offers the best trades in the universe. A grim cape. A lamp. Well, I got no money, because it's fine. Won't happen again, that's for sure. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans with administrative background. Okay. A new spree of unexplained fire strikes through the suburbs, claiming many lives, fire departments, vice arson. Popular political comment commenter dies of a heart attack. Local teen perishes in hospital after a mishap with high voltage hyperbolite. Market experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. Uh, project manager manages a big software development project at Amazon. Although they have zero idea how software development works, their uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future ahead of them. Uh, as they like to be called, enjoys building and restoring muscle cars in their leisure time. They give them solace in an otherwise monotonous life. They are most proud of their first ever project, the Monastery. Mo oh, Motor City? Powered by the rare 7.0 liter V8 Hemi 426 engine. Okay. Uh, made a fortune with their protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune to buy, on helping the community, supplying the impoverished region with free potato plants and helping them become self-sufficient. So I guess you live. Is an avid invested enthusiast, spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying and selling stocks randomly. Despite having zero knowledge of eco economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in it. I'm pretty sure it says something is like, yeah, warn against. Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, I think I'm gonna kill these two. Loves to sin and is committed to performing all four deadly sins daily. They live in a cave outside the city, avoiding law enforcement. A sinner. Yikes. Um, okay. Uh, 
So you live, you die, uh, has lived a great and kind life. They've been working in a local Beats and Brothers consultancy firm for seven years. Ever since graduating college recently, they've been looking for a way to turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Okay, you obviously- okay, so we'll kill these two, I think. How many humans? Three. We'll kill these two. And... You, I guess. I don't know. That's what we're just doing. The cat seems to be in slumber, occasionally emanating a soft snore like purr. Seemingly, seemingly in sleep, she swings her linen paw at a rubber toy. Okay. After a pause, the cat sluggishly sniffs the unusual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continues inspecting documents for a few seconds and turns away, seemingly pleased. The cat stares at you slowly, big thing. What do you think of fate? Wait, why am I trying to talk to a cat? One second. The cat notes med melodiously. She blinks at you, perplexed. Well, what do you think? Yes. The cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. She blinks at you, perplexed. Okay, let's just go. Make that one. Oh, we got oh, same what stuff. What can old Mortimer offer you today? Um, nothing. Goodness, it's already three o'clock. There's like banging going on. I don't know where it's coming from. Citizens of uh, Araria getting healthier and happier due to increased potato consumption. Perfect. Office clerks win local race tournament in a spectacular underdog dark horse display. Donates prize money to charity. Aww. Body of local sinner found in a cave crushed under a pile of wood. What do we got today? Total three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Okay, spare any human with an artistic background. All oh, right. Uh, it's very much into renewable energy and has been trying to figure out new experimental ways of making power generations more efficient. They also love flying kites and playing with their dog. So you're gonna have to die. Sorry. Still a part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments with scraps and spare parts. Uh-huh, I haven't seen- oh, okay. So he's- sorry, but you get to live. He's been- we had him just earlier. After years of struggling to pay their debts by selling nostalgia- Landon merchandise, uh, Lusalda Landon merchandise of a vaguely self-help nature, finally found a brand new avenue into helping people for money, dyed rocks, and magic-infused minerals. Mm. With an artistic background. After that, 
so you live and you live yeah um found religion after hitting rock bottom okay sorry but you have to die after selling a family clock radio for a tiny fix they got mugged in the alleyway but found help in the nearby church after living through withdrawal their life felt filled with an overworldly warmth world worldly warmth so they devoted themselves to helping others in situations similar to what okay i'm sorry but you have to die it's the rules has been working in the pharmaceutical industry for decades trying to find a this decorator for your aging oh what's going on here Well, lately it seems that the discovery might actually come from biochemic, biogenetics. Variety, oh, that's her name, is certain they can concoct some sort of chemical compound that gets the job done. Okay, so you also get to live. You get to live because you're a painter. Paints nudes and nudes only. For some reason, they, uh, these paintings don't sell very well, and they've been playing around with the idea of devoting into life of sin after being inspired by a heroic death of prominent sinner Anson. So that's the guy that kind of. Construction! An aspiring architect. It. Construction. It's the lifeblood of any advanced civilization. High, high rises stirring across the horizon, truly a glorious sight. But we can do better. That's what Natsum thinks, at least. Lately, they've been started. They've started researching more ecological. Please sound architecture. What some might call arcologies. Okay, so we're gonna kill you. I'm sorry, you're an art oh you're an artist though. Okay. Um okay, we'll kill you. How many people have to die? Three, right? Only because she's doing it. For the money. For the money. You have to live, sadly. Um, they also love flying kites and playing with their dog. This one. Um, we'll do. Yes, these ones live, those ones die. Live. 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 Sadly, live even though you want to become a sinner. Yes. Oh no, those are lived. Okay. That they uh, killed four people. That wouldn't have not been good. Oh. The cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. Without even glancing at the documents, she purrs softly, content with the accuracy. Oh, okay. She notes her agreement. Okay. Girls into a well. 400 coins. Oh, they have this open today. Oh, two new people. Another Grim. Yes? Mm, I'm 
James Bond number 60. What's your name? The name is Frank Whittle. Nice to meet you, Frank. I said Frank. Not Frank. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Pleased to meet you, Frank. I'm uh, pleased to meet you, too. Uh. So, what's going on? You know about the butterfly effect. Yes. It's oh. Like I... It's like that effect where the butterfly flaps its wings and then a, then a tornado destroys a city and demolishes everyone and everything in it. That doesn't sound Believe right. Believe me, it is. <laughs> I read it in a book. Well, what if... Well, what if I'm that butterfly? Eh? Haphazardly fluttering around and, and then millions of souls perish in anguish. Weird way to phrasing things, but sure. Oh no, what if I'm also that butterfly? I really don't think that. <laughs> You're not listening. Just like everyone else. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that, that's the least of my problems. Last week someone put my escaper in a large jar of strawberry jelly. Right, to me of Jim from the office. Wait, so the stapler thing is more awful than millions of anguish? In anguish? That's outrageous. How did you get it out? Kind of mean. Pretty funny. Yeah, no. I couldn't believe it either. I was outright flabbergasted. Oh my gosh, this guy sounds so dramatic. And that's still not all of it. Last month I had to work in the dog department. Oh, I really hope I don't have to work in the dog department. But I love dogs. There's a dog department. It's sad, but it has to be done. No, not the dogs. I know, right? And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. Mm. But you know, before that, Someone filled my room with balloons. Someone really has it out for oh, you. Oh, yes, they do. They? I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Lance Thrasher? They, there are people I in here calling someone Lance Thrasher. Don't worry, the name is not as cool as... <laughs> oh, thanks. I guess I needed that. But yeah. other people, well, they just keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. That's how you spell it? They sound like a hoot and a half. They mainly sound exhausting. Yeah, that's Lance Thrasher for you. Yes, right? I want to be on his good either. side. So, I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. Then Sasha must be having... must have been devastated. Then what happened? But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand on their desk. Interesting. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Lance, 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 Lance. And then they put their stapler in a, their stapler in a jar of jelly. What an absolute After tool. This, they started making my life miserable. Why do you think it's them? The culprit keeps writing, Thrasher was here on everything. With a marker. So, problem solver, what do you think? What should I do? You <laughs> should just kill Lance. You should get back at Lance, make them leave you alone. Sorry, but you yourself seem to be the source of all your problems. You're right. <laughs> See, I'm already ahead of you. <laughs> I've been working on this epic prank. Epic prank? Or they can get cascade. I am going to completely wrap all of Lance Thrasher's belongings in tinfoil and tape. 
And when they go to the kitchen to get some scissors, bam, a cupboard full of tennis balls. That oh. does sound funny. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling inspired now. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I need to go and get this set up. You do that. Oh, love the person next to him is Lance. Are you Lance? Accentuate the morphological field. Uh oh, some reclassification of the flaming stratum. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. It's you. I've seen you wobble oh, around in the maybe? cellar, somehow through the ah. floor. Meta resonance trigger. What's going on, strange fellow? You seem important. <laughs> One might say so, if they're so inclined. I am the prime curator of the Abysmal Archive. The archive of all existence. All the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? <laughs> yeah. Plenty for me to destroy, if you get my drift. I figured as much, I did not. It doesn't really matter to me. More than you are able to conceive. But never mind all that. I shouldn't disturb you with ancient accounts. As you're talking to one of the archive, I suppose you have numerous questions. Worldly questions. I'm happy to oblige. Um, what is it you wish to learn? What's going on in the archives? Tell me of the history of the office. How does the office function? I got a red profile with a message. Did you send it? Definitely not. I wouldn't dare to interfere with the fine-tuned pipeline of profile selection. This is a most dire breach of conduct. I hope there wasn't anything inappropriate on the file. It urged me to wanton destruction, my favorite kind. Nah, it was all good. Nothing suspicious whatsoever yet. It asked me to break the rules. Most terrible. I hope you dealt with the matter accordingly. We must sure. be vigilant for these lapses in judgment. A data monger, a reaper. Someone grows disillusioned with the structure before them and develops a heart of rebellion. Isn't it useful to act according to what your heart tells you? It's not as simple as you imagine. We can't blindly trust intuition when it comes to our modern world. Time and technology have changed considerably. These gut feelings are made for a distant era, long gone. Mm. It doesn't mean you must ignore them completely, but one has to compare instinctual responses to relevant data in order to derive an accurate response. True. This takes significant time, effort, and knowledge. Be wary of simplistic answers. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I hope you enjoyed our talk. Bye. I must return to the archive. I hear it beckon. And I don't want to talk to you. Avast what do you got? You. Pursue the finest booty you've ever seen. Whoa, a seriously terror-inducing massage? Size center. Clothing? Okay, um, the coin that usually makes up. You know what? Let's just buy this coin. Used to Why belong not? to the ruthless Corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village, gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then we grew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. Hmm. I guess it's just a coin flip, like a flip coin, coin that you flip or whatever. Yes. We'll do one more day, and I think we'll switch to Minecraft. Another pig? 
Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, we'll put you in here. Abandoned mine shaft collapses. Unidentified body found within the debris. Chemist uses experimental anti-aging drug on themselves. Grows younger until finally ceases to exist. Cease to exist. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. Uh, archaeology. Still science fiction. A dream of future. Okay. Turbine. Local artist has gone rogue. Keep graffiti new figures all over the city. Well, that. A lot of humans have to die. Anyone related to transportation industry has to die. Choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle to die. What? Choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle to die. So this? Always oh, cheerful. Okay. Grim, listen. Sorry I took so long. You made it the choice and got censored for it. But I had to test you to know if you have what it takes. I won't ask anything that big again. But I ask for you t for your trust. And for a small act of defiance. You should let this one live. Stand against fate's rules. It will show you what lies beneath. Um, no. I'm not telling doing that. Student. So, transportation. How many people have to die? Five. Okay. Is a student at a local polytechnical institute, but their real passion is hiking. They are preparing for a challenging skiing trip to the nearby mountains with a group of friends. One of the completions of this trip, they on the completion of this trip, they would all be awarded the highest hike of concert vacation. Do you get to live? Factory record. Working in a factory is very monotonous. You almost become a machine yourself. At least that's how Luther feels most days. They go through a set of predetermined motions on one after the other. However, this has also given them ample time to compose poetry. Wilton is very proficient long Logistics coordinator. Their nickname at work is Smooth Operator. They also apply these skills to managing two separate secret families. Wow, okay. Lived an exciting and joyous life up until retirement. And then everything started to go downhill. Life became rough, sad, and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone. Their pets died. Nothing seems to be going right at all. Yet, they keep living. Well, sorry, but... You gotta live. Co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habits by mistake habitats by mistake destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds. Yikes, you might have to die. So that's three. Social worker has been working in the local refugee community. Helping them get settled and figured out the particulars of the bureaucracy of Cosmopolis City. In their free time, they enjoy lengthy swims. Yeah, 
game developer is known for making experimental games and genre bending art pieces. Lately, the men experimented with a pain based control scheme, facial features based difficulty levels, psychedelic and matte imagery, and incredibly addicting game mechanics. They're one small nudge away from making it big. Dreamt of being a sniper from an early age. And they were struck by an in, in rating, irritating, irritating itch that never went away which ruined their ability to keep calm and focus. They instead joined a medical school to figure out how to cause out the cause of the itch and ended up in a medic. You could die as well. Um... Oh, you could die too, why not? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna see if um, this was right. Let's see. Oh, he's back. I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure, I like our little chats. Great. I'm glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. So, okay, yes. Today is your two week performance evaluation. Oh no. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm, where did I place those papers? Please, where are you? Ah, here we go. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Interesting. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. Mm-hmm. There is little to criticize in your conduct. Except, perhaps, for the minor lack of independence. Rule, but the rules are there for a reason. What else am I supposed to do? Continue, sir. I'll just One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does I did it I got in trouble! Anywhere within your skull? <laughs> you are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Oh, no. Well, we got my money. New people? No, same people. So I get to change this every Back weekend. From spooky, are ye? Uh, <laughs> um, twelve hundred for this. Sure, why to not? Face the marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon, a socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Ogward. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Giana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzle. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> okay. Well then. Let us go to bed. Oh, we 
we've got a light. Four or six humans have to die. At least five humans with a scientific background has to die. At least two humans aged 30 or younger has to die. Okay, well, this is cool. I don't know what these mean. Hmm. Game developer struggles with getting multi-sensory gaming experience to work. It mostly just feels like bugs crawling all over your skin. Okay, well... I don't know what these mean. As dedicated their life to researching the end of days when not working, they take their pile of dogs for a walk or snobbishly drive around in their vintage car even though the battery is chronically empty. Otherwise, they've no personality or political view whatsoever. Age 30 or younger has to die. So you. Yeah, I want to know what these mean. Do they all have this? Hmm. Okay. 34. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot, sending thousands of emails a day, offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams. Only if they share their credit card information first, of course. It's a numbers game, so they succeed from time to time. Oh, six humans have to die. Okay. You are definitely dying. You're the age. Okay, let's read the ones that are um, ages 30 and younger. It's 28. Scientists. Okay, this is one of them. Who needs statistics when you have a fancy algorithm and amazing concepts like AI and machine learning? That's for sure. Okay. You are dying already. That's one with scientific background and one that is under tw uh, 30. 35, don't want to reach you yet. 36, 30, 35, 43, okay. So these are the two that have to die. I'm just gonna double check, 34. 35, 36, 30, 35, 43. Okay, yeah. So sorry, you have to die. So that's these two. I'm done. Um, so we need two scientific science with scientific background. Uh, okay. I want you to die, so you're gonna be there. A hacker. Okay. Online. How is crypto? Domancer is inspired become an it specialist hacker by reading old cyberpunk novels. They were arrested and banned from using any computers for 15 years after they crashed the Cosmopolis stock market. They're still very interested in modern uh, okay. Biochemists. So you have to die. So that's two. Scientists. Burglar. Once during a routine burglary got attacked by a kid who was unintentionally left behind by their vacationing family. 
This occurrence made them appreciate the quiet days far more. Usually they leave a clean house behind, sometimes even doing dishes. What did the chemists say when they found two is stopes of helium? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, it's just, just one of the jokes you can hear when working with. They annoy their coworkers with chemistry jokes all day, but can't be fired since they're incredibly good at their career. So you have to die. That's four. So I want to kill him then too. And this person. So these two people can live. There we go. Hopefully that was good and not horribly done. Let's go up. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. More or less. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Pretty good. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. The papers. papers. He's always using them. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Not sure about the whole rebellion thing you spoke of. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. This reminds me, have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue not really i'd rather get back oh, to work one more thing it was nice of you to gift lady the little gerbil i am sure she appreciates it although personally i am growing rather tired of the incessant squeaking <laughs> that's like a 30 year old man <sighs> until tomorrow grim oh that's funny Nice, we got some more money. Okay, let's see what we got here. Shiver me timbers! Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium! Oh. Okay, let's get these classes, I guess. We don't really plunder educational organizations, eh? Ye can't rob the ideas hiding inside the brain. Well, usually. So where did I get these fancy scholarly glasses, ye ask? I didn't ask. Why? They belong to a royal merchant. Whose caravan I held at gunpoint. So he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Tis be a powerful artifact, turning one into a formidable business powerhouse. Mm -hmm. How do you think I got a hold of this shop? How nice. Oh my gosh. Hey there. Taken many lives lately? Yes. How are the others? The ones you haven't taken yet. They keep doing odd self-destructive things. Most of them seem to build stuff. Don't oh, know. They seem fine. They should definitely slow down. Otherwise, the phrase plenty of fish in the sea will age like milk left out into the sun. The stench of poisonous rot slowly creeps into the air. A warning to heed. Okay. Mm. I do not like that. I want these. Psst. Another one. Hey, watch your step. The world is crumbling under your feet. You'll soon be the king of dust and rubble. 
It's not my fault how humans handle their lives. Yes, I rule. Many people will lay in bed tonight, haunted by gut-wrenching hunger. Okay. Hoping to fall asleep from crushing exhaustion, dreading to wake up tomorrow. Okay. Scarcity creeps ever closer. That is the kingdom you rule. Think of it as a warning. Okay. Another one. Yes. You did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon, we'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. What are you rambling about now? Bask in my splendor, O oh mirror. I'm not sure. Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Hmm. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. Interesting. Oh. All two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite end of the profile bundle has to die. Hmm. Young biochemist dies in a fire at work. It's chicken flu ever finding a vaccine must have known. ex hacker shot in the streets tragedy strikes the local lab oh what do we got here still saying the same thing maybe it'll be different if we get a red one on, off, on, off, on, off. So it's just showing the same thing. Used to work in an animation industry, but grew increasingly tired and stressed due to lengthy work hours. These days, they're self employed, running their own tiny art studio, and taking commissions from businesses. It's just general fan art enthusiasts. Uh, has a warm, kind-hearted personality, does their best to help troubled youths and marginalized people. They are a community activist and run a private practice for cognitive behavioral therapy when they aren't dealing with their grandkids. Wrote a book the last five years, they have argued for a new way of organizing labor protections of resources. Um, which are often involved in reputation of the regions. Right after graduation, I went to work where they were doing strange experimental. Well, it's serious. Pretty dangerous job as it often involves use of very sharp instruments. Well, we'll do. Die. Live, live, die. That's how we'll do it. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Uh oh. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. Why not? Indeed. Why, Why not? not? I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. Thanks. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. 
Okay. Let's hope they have the calendar. Ahoy! No. A pleasure to see ye again. But they do have Dex Clock. No, that's what I need. Okay. I am going to end the stream here today. Um, I don't know what I'll do next. So, um, next. Monday will be the stream. Um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the game, I hope you guys did. Because I actually really love this game. It's really fun. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys Monday. And, um, yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone.